Hey guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. This video is for you today if like 60 to 70% of Americans, when you're at home working, you're on the couch. And the couch, as we all know, sucks you in. And you may start to notice some neck pain, some hip pain, some back pain. That's very common after sitting in this position or this position here. So I'm gonna give you a workout today that's going to address all those aches and pains and give you some more energy and just make you feel better overall. No fancy equipment needed, but your handy dandy couch and your own little body. So here we go. So trying to start sitting up nice and tall, Hands are going to rest above the knees. I'm going to arch that spine and look up towards the ceiling and then round and tuck. All right, so now I'm really trying to get a little bit of shoulder blade and spinal mobility here. Again, counteracting those poses that we're doing. So here's four. We're going to do five of everything. Doesn't need to take real long in order to be effective. So that's number five. From there, you're going to bring those legs a little bit wider, toes pointed forward. I'm going to fold down. It's okay if you can't get all the way down to the ground. I'm going to fold down. I'm going to leave one hand down, rotating the arm up to the ceiling, letting your head follow if you can. This gives a nice stretch to those inner thighs, those adductor muscles, a little rotation into the spine, counter-rotating here because we all tend to be stuck rotated in one position, right? That's not so good. And if you don't like the rotation part, just hang out down here. Nothing wrong with that either. Good. And you should actually start to get a little bit more motion as you go through. And you can even bring those knees a little bit wider as you go. One more on each side. You might notice some snaps and cracks and pops, and that's okay as long as it doesn't hurt. None of this should hurt today. Next, you're going to reach right overhead, and right now we're nice and tall. Squeeze into those shoulder blades and bring those arms down. So up, you can even add a little reach and extension. Bring those arms down. Remember, we're trying to get out of this, right? Up. There's three. Four. We've got one more here. Five. Fabulous. I'm going to put my hands right down. This one you're actually going to stand up for. If you need to use your hands, you can a little bit, especially if you're low. But we're going to get up, squeeze those glutes, bring one leg out, bring the other leg out without leaning, just shifting, and back down, right? Again, use those hands only if you need to. There's two. I might need to today. Don't let those knees collapse in. Three. And this gives your brain a little break here, too. Four in between Zoom meetings, <laughs> or whatever else you use. Zoom doesn't pay me. <laughs> That's five. Good. I'm going to sit back down again. And this time, I'm going to cross one ankle over. So I'm stretching out this whole hip. Get those abs going, too. I'm going to lean back a little, pull in those abdominal muscles, and then kind of press and lean. So there's one, Woo. two. Three, you don't have to have your hands behind your head. You can keep them here if you want. Oops, I touched my mic, sorry. Four, oh, and five. Normally, I don't have a microphone on when I'm doing these at home. All right, cross that other ankle over. Same idea. Lean it on back. Try to press. You don't have to lean forward if it doesn't feel good. You go with what your body tells you to do, right? That's super duper important. Three, I think. <laughs> Four. Here we go. One more is... Five, one last exercise, standing up to get these muscles, which get so tight and cause lots of back pain. So we're going to put that knee right on the couch or bench, because I don't have that kind of therapy here. And you're going to do a little pelvic tilt, butt squeeze, and come back. Actually, pelvic squeeze, butt, <laughs> can't speak anymore. There's three. So I'm just tilting that pelvis a little bit. Four. And five. And I'm going to switch sides. So again, knee down on the couch, tuck that pelvis, squeeze that butt, and just give that little press through, right? You're not, ugh, not a big, big motion. There's two. This one is my favorite, honest. Three, four, and five. And I'm going to show you just from the side here a little bit in case you couldn't see that real well. Same idea, right? Just kind of push. So you can see I don't have a big motion here. But you can do these exercises, all of these, multiple times a day so that you can get your body feeling better, get a little blood flow going, and not get sucked into that couch. Thanks, guys.